shots here. I am have to, gonna have to grab some shots here. Hopefully you can hear me with this wind, but oh, ho, ho, I am going to be so happy. Even if I don't get the light at the very end, what I'm gonna get right now here is phenomenal. That, oh, that, I have to go. Okay, gotta take the shot. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And I'm coming close now to the end of my trip to the Clare Coast. And I'm here now for sunset and I'm at a location called Loop Head Drive. And it's a place that I visited probably around four or five years ago in extremely windy and rough conditions. If you haven't seen that episode actually, I'll give you a look at that uh, up here. But Today I'm here now and the weather is looking absolutely very favorable. I have very little clouds over on the western horizon. I do have some bit of cloud as well on the eastern horizon. So I've decided to point again with the direction of the sun and hopefully then I get those clouds that are going to light up and they'll light up as well these extremely impressive cliffs that are right behind me here. You can't see it there because it's blown out, but I'll give you a look at it there. I'll record another piece of video, but you can see that there's some really impressive uh, cliffs that are there and there's some nice wave action as well. Nothing overly energetic, but there's still some nice wave action nonetheless. Now, I took a quick uh, scout as well a moment ago and I was looking to see if I could find some sea pinks. So they've just started to come into bloom now, but I'm a small bit early. They're, they're there, but they're not in full bloom. But I think I might find one or two anyway, at least, to be able to put into my composition. But I'm going to um, head over here towards the, 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 the cliff side, and I'm going to wait for that light then to dip down. I'm probably uh, about an hour and 20 minutes away, let's just say, from sunset. So I've still got plenty of time, but there's some nice bird action as well. A lot of seagulls that are milling in and around, so I might give that a shot as well while I have got the uh, bright light. It is quite harsh at the moment, but shooting in this direction, I still think I should get a nice shot nonetheless. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let me get packed up here now, and we'll make the small jaunt over, and we'll get some shots from the Clare Coast. <music> Well, that beautiful light that I had earlier on, as you saw there, it was shrouding me as I was walking over to this um, area, has now gone behind a ginormous bank of cloud. And hopefully, when the sun pops down below it, it may light those from underneath. And I think I'm fingers crossed that I'm in for some phenomenally good shots. Now, I'm still going to stick where I am right now, for now. And then when the sun drops below that, I hope these are going to light up with a nice golden glow. And I may have to then change tact and move over this direction and actually shoot directly into the sun. Because if it lights up those clouds, which I think it will, it should do anyway, it all depends if the cloud that you see behind me here is going to move off fully. But 
I'm really hopeful actually that I'm going to get a really nice uh, sunset this evening. So yeah, I'm going to grab my first shot anyway here of these impressive cliffs. Thankfully, I have my spikes on the end of my tripod, so that allows me to be secure, I suppose, really, uh, in the wind. You're actually on the other tripod there. The legs are spread as wide as they can, uh, so that there's as much stability as I possibly can be. It's not overly windy. I've been in windier conditions, but there are strong gusts, and I don't want to risk anything like that. So by having these here now, like that, this is secure, it's not going to budge anywhere. So yeah, I'm going to get set up anyway here and I'll uh, talk you through when I get my first composition and we'll wait then for the sun to reappear and hopefully light up these cliffs in the way that I think they can be lit. Right, so I think I have my composition now set up here. I've come to a spot where I'm getting nothing else on the left hand side because there's a bit of that cliff that curves out and I'm just purely able to get the uh, cliffs below me here and with some fantastic action as well as the birds as they're flying below me so I'm now just taking multitude of fast shutter speeds and um, hopefully I'll get one where I get some nice bird action and obviously some wave action I'm using my manual uh, focus as well to make sure that everything is sharp so it's pretty much yeah almost at infinity more or less at infinity actually uh, and I'm shooting here at f7.1 and then varying my shutter speed now right now it's quite dark because the sun is behind those clouds so it's a flat scene however when that sun which is about to drop and I can see there's actually rain as well coming down from that as well so I think it could be absolutely phenomenal I know I don't want to jinx myself or anything like that but everything does seem to point that this is going to be a great sunset so i'm going to stay on this composition here now just continue to take a couple of shots anyway right now as it is without the light and i think that once the sun drops from that this is really really going to pop it'll allow me to have a really fast shutter speed as well so i'll be able to freeze those birds that are milling in and out of the frame but yeah really really nice what an incredible spot the rawness of these rocks are phenomenal. So yeah, show you these shots now and we'll wait for the sun to hopefully drop below these dark and ominous rain clouds that I'm really, really hopeful will light up. Famous last words, but I think I might be right on this occasion. My word, I just got treated to a spectacular light show there. You can just see here now in the cloud that's there on the horizon, the light was just streaming down with a beautiful, beautiful orange glow. And I also had some god rays or crespicular rays as well coming down. And then the birds were flying directly in the scene. And I also then as well had a uh, shower or a rain burst as well coming right down as well. I'd be able to get those birds flying in and out. I was handheld for a lot of it. I put the camera on the tripod as well towards the end. The sun then just popped through a small bit of a gap as you can probably make out. I, I can't reach it from here. Uh, there um, and I quickly put the camera up to f16 put it on the tripod and then got a shot as well. Hopefully where I get a sunburst as well coming through that. If I get a sunset, it's going to be the, the cream of the cherry or whatever you want to call it on top. I'm so excited to be out. What fantastic conditions for me to have here and then to be in this spot with that cloud that's there. Now, it is taking longer as well. You know, I did a time lapse here on this camera a moment ago um, to hopefully catch the sun as it would have burst through. But as those clouds moved along, they actually moved closer to the horizon as well. So it's taking longer for the sun to dip. Nonetheless, I am still quietly confident that the clouds won't reach the horizon by the time the sun reaches the horizon and then it lights up everything in a golden glow so next thing now for me is back to my original plan is to wait here for that sun just to dip below the clouds that are there and hopefully then i get that absolutely beautiful golden glow 
coming across here, lighting up the cliffs below me. Hopefully some of the clouds that are there as well will also be able to catch that light. And then it will be down to a matter of whether I stay here or do I go off over to a different location here to be able to shoot directly into the sun. Because if I'm shooting directly into the sun and there's no real clouds for it to catch, I'm better off shooting with the sun. But it'll all depend now on what that fantastic bank of cloud ends up doing. It has treated me to some fantastic shots. I am absolutely ecstatic looking at the back of the camera. Hopefully they'll all be as good as I see them on the back of the camera when I get them back to base to look at. But yeah, absolutely incredible. I'm in for a treat. I have my other camera here set up. It's doing a time lapse of the uh, sun as it's coming and dropping below those clouds. But as it's dropping below those clouds, I'm being, I've swapped out to my long lens and I'm being treated to some spectacular light. And even right now, if you can see this behind me here, look at the light rays that are coming down the light shafts here. I am have to, gonna have to grab some shots here. Hopefully you can hear me with this wind, but oh, ho, ho, I am going to be so happy. Even if I don't get the light at the very end, what I'm gonna get right now here is phenomenal. That, oh, that's, I have to go. Okay, gotta take the shot. Well, as you can see now, that sun has just popped below that cloud as you saw by the time lapse. And now it's lighting up the cliffs here, just as I predicted. Now it's just about to get into its real kind of golden glow. So I'm excited now to see what lies ahead because I think it's gonna be phenomenal actually here when this gets closer to the horizon, when the glow turns a deep red. And hopefully what is remaining of clouds anyway behind me here will catch with that light as well. Uh, I've noticed as well now that the, there's an island just off here, um, well, a bit of the headland really, and now that shadow is being cast over here onto the, um, the side of the cliffs. So what I'm having to do is just slightly adjust my composition to a bit tighter so I don't have as much of that shadow um, in the actual frame. But uh, birds are still flying around as well, so they're great to be able to add to the scene, so yeah. <laughs> What an incredible evening here, and it ain't over yet. I'll give you a look at these here now, and we'll see what other surprises the light has for us this evening. Sun now is just about to set below the horizon and what I've decided to do is put back on my long lens and just point directly into the sun because there's still a lot of birds that are just flying around that and they're coming in and out of the scene 
and with that as well it's really really nice i do think again on the back of the camera now the light here has pretty much faded the sun has gone down too low it's not going to be able to be as vibrant as it was but nonetheless it was still great to be able to get that nice light exactly as i predicted and now as well looking out to the west here there's another bank of cloud that's coming above that and that's actually nice as well because it's catching some of the light now the sun is just hitting the horizon right now um, and again with birds and everything else flying in between i think i should be able to get some really really nice shots as well from that such a huge amount of shots i think i've gotten anyway here today what a fantastic evening i've really really enjoyed myself um it's been great to be able to get out and have these conditions here optimally. Yesterday evening, actually, we had a big uh, KP um, spike in the Aurora, and the Aurora was visible from Ireland. However, where I was here in County Clare, there was absolutely no visibility whatsoever because it was blanket cloud. But today, it would be great if we could get some aurora because i built to see it uh, quite clearly i think from this location but anyhow i hope you've enjoyed coming along on this absolutely incredible adventure with me today thank you very much as always for watching if it's your first time on the channel please hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time schlong the fall mm -hmm.